Welcome everyone to Cinema Spotlight. Diving into Ava DuVernay's career, we will be talking about Selma. Selma is about Martin Luther King Jr.'s fight, or should I say campaign, to secure equal voting rights. To get the attention and show how dire the situation is, King leads an epic march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. Now, there's, there's more to this story than what I just gave away. Um, I think there's a lot more key factors I could mention, but I'd leave it to your viewing experience to understand and engage in those details. But what I believe is that Ava has chosen the best actor to portray a man with so much integrity and prowess that you can get lost into who you are watching. David Oyelowo is truly fantastic here, and that goes without saying that everyone else around him give it their all too. With everyone on my mind, but not enough time to mention them for all that they've done, I really got to point out three actors of either coincidence or just pure attention to detail and just pure dedication to the history at hand. First off, back when I would watch Lincoln on repeat, I noticed David Oyelowo and Coleman Domingo in their beginning segment uh, playing Private Harold Green and Corporal Ira Green. They share the same screen together more times in Selma, but in Lincoln, David's character talks about the changes that could be made over the years if people could get used to the idea of change, and maybe they could get used to them many more down the road. David speaks of the vote and the possibilities it could bring a hundred years from now. That scene was depicted happening in 1865. Roughly a hundred years later, in 1964, David plays Martin Luther King Jr. fighting for equal rights and fighting for the right to vote. I cannot attest to the fa factuality of any of this, but in movie terms, this is pretty cool to me. The third person I wish to mention here is Oprah Winfrey. Or at least I think she's in this movie. Um, <clears throat> she gives a performance like no other and disappears to where I had to take a couple of minutes to realize that was her. And that goes the same with David as well. I had a hard time realizing that these were the actors chosen for specific roles that pretty much made the person disappear and the historical figure very much present. I said in my Pan's Labyrinth review that there is a shortage of perfect movies out there. Historical inaccuracies aside, I feel Ava was trying to tell a story by keeping focused and showing us what was at stake in 1964 with enough merit for you to get to the point. To me, this is a perfect movie. There are some moments within the film that really pulls at your heartstrings, and rightfully so, to where you understand that this movement was not a walk in the park. People were hurt, killed, black and white, but predominantly black folks, lost their lives to see through a vision that needed to be. There is a scene in the morgue which, well, it absolutely floored me, and it got me thinking about a quote from Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Now, not to throw fantasy into this, and it doesn't have any comparison or place within this review, but there is a quote that rings true. No parent should ever have to bury their child. And it's because of this, it absolutely hit me at my core. It even goes to believing when the whole world is against you, telling you to move. It's your duty to plant yourself like a tree and say, no, you move. And again, while that's another quote from another fictional film, Captain America Civil War, it doesn't make it any less true. And these are the things that sort of just showed up in my mind while I'm watching this, like, yep. And that's what Martin Luther King did. He made us realize that there was another way to our actions and we could become one rather than individuals. Prideful in our stance and we should accept the change because... We're all equal here. Be that as it may, this movie is truly wonderful, and not just because Ava directed it. This is the first film that I ever saw of Ava's and didn't even realize it until much later on of the films that she had made later on. That doesn't mean my opinions of this film are askew. It just means that this is a movie that has a voice and it tells it like it is. And from the moment you watch it, I'm pretty sure you'll be hooked. The film is brutal 
fascinating. It's sad and it is also triumphant. Ava picked a point in time to tell Martin's story where it mattered most and for that I loved Selma and own it on DVD. I mean it should be Blu-ray but you know I haven't had the time to go and find movies on Blu-ray that I think are actually worth the ownership of that type. Uh, be that as it may guys, thank you all so much for watching and if you've seen Selma let me know down in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss another video. With all that said, have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.